And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. I love board games, and I'm always glad to see when games come back in print, or when you make a nicer version of them. And today I want to talk about that. We're comparing two recent bigger deluxe versions of games. We have Star Realms, the deck building game. This is a nice big box version of it. And we have the Metro City Edition, the deluxe big box version of that. I think it could be made a pretty good argument that both of these games, the box size now, is quite a bit larger than the original size of the box. Star Realms came in a box uh, that you could literally put into your pocket, and Metro came in a box that was only slightly uh, larger than the Star Realms box. Uh, both games are games that I enjoy. I about enjoy them maybe about the same. Star Realms is a fast and furious uh, deck building game where you attack your opponent. Metro is a game about putting tiles out, connecting different trains to stations on the board. I'm not reviewing either game here. You can check out my original reviews for that. But uh, what I'm doing in these particular things is I want to compare a little bit about how these were put together because one of these I'm putting into the Dice Tower library, and the other I'm getting rid of because it just, for me, kind of fails on almost every level. Let's take a look. So first, let's take a look at Star Realms. Now, as I said, the original box is really small, and this box doesn't come with a whole lot of extra content. We have a rule book here, which <laughs> I'm always a fan of, rule books I can actually read in a different size, a board. This did not come with the original game, but it's a nice board, keeps track of all the different things that are in the game. And then the game itself. You have your starter decks here. You have a spot to have all the different cards here. Some extra cards over here on the side. Some larger things here for solo play. And then plenty of room for extra things. So I know that Star Realms has released promos and small expansions. And there's a lot of different things that exist for Star Realms. I don't have any of that. So would I get this not having that? That would be actually a close call for me. I actually prefer my games not to be too small because I find them to be a little bit harder to find when that's the case. Um, but uh, this is a really good size for me. This is a big box I can get behind. And now I might go hunt down some of those expansions for Star Realms because I can put them in that. The board is an unnecessary but a nice thing. I like having boards that show you where the different card piles go. Everything else works if you want to... Uh, sleeve the cards, it fits in. But it's a nice production. And you can see on the sides of the boxes here, we have some nice art from the various parts of Star Realm. So this is cool. Very nice. I'll be adding this to the Dice Tower Library. Well, that takes away the suspense of which game is not going in. Here we go. Now, I like many of the Queen Deluxe Big Box, Alhambra and Escape are probably my two favorites of that one. I didn't think Metro needed a big one, but I was like, all right, let's see what can happen here. So in here, we have a sheet that tells you how to put everything in the box. That's fine, um, but you know, you're gonna need it. Well, you're gonna need it, and I'll show you why in a second. We have the rules, rules are fine. Nice book size, Queen does good rules. And then when I open this up and take out the board piece and stuff, everything in here gets jumbled every time if it moves at all. Now I went to get the deluxe upgrade, which has the these tiles in them, which was not the wisest of ideas. The tower is also made of that material, which I don't recommend because this stuff is going to crack easily, especially since when you put it in this box, it does not fit this way, which is the way it feels like it should fit. It only fits in sideways, which makes it harder to pull out, which is, again, an odd choice considering all the extra wasted plastic here. There's tons of pieces in this game. Many of them are used only for the things, but hey, there is a lot of extra content. And I'm not here to talk about that content. I'll say this. The content's fine, but very unnecessary. I think the base game of this is fine. Where I want to complain is about the board. In the original game of Metro, you had these stations on the outside, and the book would show you if you're playing with different player counts, put a purple, blue, yellow, whatever num color trains on those. These were wooden trains that looked sort of, I don't have them in this box, they looked sort of like these, and you would place them here on each one. Very easy to see. Well, they decided instead to have a frame that you put around the outside. Now, this frame has 
several problems. First of all, it's a puzzle frame that fits on top and you have to find the right pieces and so there's tons of these in the game that you have to find the right ones every time to put together. That's minor inconvenience. Secondly, you can see there's blue trains and also not blue trains and it's hard to see which one's a blue train anywhere. Um, and these are just don't, they don't stand out as much as the wooden ones did from the original one. Thirdly, and this is where I start getting very annoyed, it slides. That is just, I don't know who thought this was a good idea. If you're going to put something like this on there, have an indentation where it goes into or something. And this sliding is a big deal because this is literally the whole game. The whole game is about putting tiles on the board. And when you put these tiles on the board, so let's put out a few tiles here to show it. So I'm going to put those there. I'm going to attach these here. And can you see the problem already? When I attach these tiles onto the board, if you put them all up against each other, they're not as big as the space they go into. Now, I don't need everything to fit nice and tight, but the problem that's going to happen is, since they don't fit nice and tight, and since the board shakes, this becomes a mess. And some of you are sitting there going, it doesn't look that bad, but I'm telling you, from playing it on a personal perspective, when you put these in and you're trying to match this stuff up, and all it takes is someone to just slightly, you know, put a tile in like that, everything's off, and since it matters what stuff's connected to where, it's a real problem. And so I just found this to be, basically, it makes the game unplayable for me. And... The, it's, the acrylic tiles being small is a minor thing. You can say, well, you just center them on each one. Well, yes, if you want to have someone who fixes them every time. I've, I've seen pictures of this online, and each one, they can look kind of messy. And this doesn't look too bad now, but again, it, you know, since you're putting these tiles in and stuff, and then every time this border moves, it's the border moving that's the problem. I just can't fathom that, and the fact that you can't see... Again, when you played in the original one, when your train scored, you took that train off. It's gone. Well, here I can still see the trains. It's just that I have to remember that they finished already. And it's really easy to miss scoring in this game. Now, it doesn't really matter because you can score at the end. But whew, such a mess. And this is the upgraded deluxe version. This is a problem. Now, the rule book has all the different modules, and you can mix them in and out. The original game had several. And then here's the big thing, the cities. But look at the cities. You're putting out things all around the board. And again, you have this modular board that's going to be moving around and messing things up. And that's just too problematic for me. <sighs> yeah. So again, I can definitely see a case being made that you don't need either of these. But if you really like a game and there's a big buzz for it, then it's worth getting. I suspect these games have sold the same amount. Yes, I mean, Star Realms is a much newer game, uh, but Metro's been around for a while. And when Metro first came out, there wasn't many games like it. There are many games like Metro now, Suro, etc. Star Realms, there's other games like it too, but it kind of reigned supreme. And for a while, it was the head-to-head -head deck builder. Still very much is, still very popular game. And this is not much, very big at all. This is a huge game. Metro's not a huge game. This is a lot of expansions. Well, the last box of this had expansions too, and it was, in, again, in a normal size box. So it's not like this adds anything else. And the way they did it, they upgraded it, and it actually makes the game worse. Just because something's big doesn't make it better. Just because something can be upgraded doesn't mean it should. But it can be done well, and I think this does it well. This keeps the base game there. If all I want is the base game, this is a reasonable box size to bring out. It can be sleeved, and if I want to add more stuff, I can, but I don't feel bad. This says, here's everything in the kitchen sink. You probably aren't going to play with it. And the base game itself is kind of mucky. Um, as we move the stuff around, that's very problematic. Don't like it. Like it. Keeping. Not keeping. I'm Tom Vassell, and that's a tale of two reprints.